हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल सो आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू योर एस एस टी क्लास एंड टूडे विल डू चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स फ्रॉम योर सोशल स्टडीज बुक एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज द लैंड ऑफ हॉट सैंड दैट इज सऊदी अरेबिया सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस चैप्टर आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क यू वन क्वेश्चन डू यू नो वाई सऊदी अरेबिया इज नोन एज द लैंड ऑफ हॉट सैंड Yes because Saudi Arabia is a desert country and the temperature of Saudi Arabia is extremely hot that's why it is called the land of hot sand all right and do you know that Saudi Arabia has vast deposits of mineral oil and uh, it is exported to almost every country of the world and our country also buy large quantities of mineral oil from Saudi Arabia okay so there are so many facts like this that you will get to know uh, in this chapter and besides this you will get to know about uh, vegetation climate economy and life of the people of saudi arabia so uh, let's get started and first of all we'll understand the meaning of the word desert desert is the area of the world with very low rainfall which also experiences extremeness of hotness and coldness extremeness of hotness and coldness means uh, the temperature the climate uh, in desert is either very hot or very cold okay the deserts are of two types that is the hot deserts and the cold deserts and some of the examples of the hot deserts are the arabian desert the thar desert and the sahara desert whereas the ladakh and the gobi deserts are the cold deserts of the world and in this chapter we will study about the arabian desert so first of all let's start with the location of the arabian desert so saudi arabia is a country which is located in the arabian desert in middle east okay as you can see that this is the arabian desert and saudi arabia lies here in the arabian desert okay and it neither lies uh, properly in the east nor uh, properly in the middle it lies in the middle east of the arabian desert okay saudi arabia is surrounded by the red sea in the west arabian sea in the south and the persian gulf and the gulf of oman towards the east so here the word gulf means a large area of sea that is surrounded by the land in the north side of the saudi arabia jordan iraq and kuwait are situated whereas yemen oman and uae that is united arab emirates are located in the southern part of the saudi arabia and the most important point to remember here is that uh, the tropic of cancer passes through saudi arabia saudi arabia is a big country but has a small population and the land is mostly a rocky plateau which is covered with loose sand and the hills of loose sand are called sand dunes and as you can see here in the picture these are sand dunes these are hills of loose sand okay and these sand hills or sand dunes can move from one place to another by strong winds and dust storms saudi arabia has no perennial rivers or lakes perennial rivers means the rivers that have water throughout the year but saudi arabia offers world class coral reefs including those in gulf of aqaba Now what are coral reefs coral reefs are underwater structures made from calcium carbonate secreted by corals now coral is a substance like rock formed in the sea by groups of particular types of small animals all right and do you know coral reefs are important for many reasons most importantly they provide protection and shelter for many different species of fish and besides this the coral reef structure protects the edge of a sea lake or river against waves storms and floods helping to prevent loss of life property damage and erosion so uh, these are corals and as you can see that they grow under uh, water and they provide shelter to many species of fish now let's study about the climate of saudi arabia 
The general climate of Saudi Arabia is extremely hot and dry. Day temperature is very high, means uh, it's very hot during the daytime, so the sand becomes very hot, whereas nights are cool and pleasant. Dust storms are quite common. Dust storms, which are also called sand storms, is a storm in which strong winds carry a lot of dust. And these uh, dust storms or sand storms, they appear all of a sudden and make the sky hazy. Hazy means cloudy. The summer season in Saudi Arabia continues from May to September, whereas the winter season lasts from October to April. And during the winter, days are warm and nights are cold. There is hardly any rainfall in this area and the climate along the coastal areas is pleasant. Now let's talk about the vegetation of Saudi Arabia. Very limited parts of Saudi Arabia are suitable for cultivation. Water is obtained mainly by the sea and uh, the sea water is used for domestic consumption only after the process of desalting. Now desalting means taking out the salt from the water. All right. We all know that saline water, it is not good for our body and good for our health. So before uh, using it for domestic purpose, first the sea water is desalted. Salt is taken out from the water and then it is used for domestic purposes. And the plants having high resistant. High resistant means high power, high strength and less water requirement grow here. And most of these plants have deep roots in the soil. Oasis are the permanent source of water. Now what is oasis? Oasis is basically a place in the desert where there is a permanent supply of water. Date, palm, wheat and barley are produced here. The people lead a settled life and the caravans always stay at such places and trade with the villagers. The word caravan means a group of people, especially traders or pilgrims, traveling together across a desert in Asia or North Africa. So now we'll study about the economy of Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is a rich country. It has vast deposits of mineral oil. It is found at great depths under the sand. And it is exported to almost every country of the world. And our country, India, also buy large quantities of mineral oil from Saudi Arabia. Many cities have been developed in the country. There are many oil refineries in Saudi Arabia where crude oil is converted into petroleum, diesel, kerosene and many other useful products. Now refineries means factories where substances in their natural state such as oil or sugar are made pure. Okay, so uh, just like this, uh, in Saudi Arabia there are many factories uh, where crude oil, crude oil means raw oil is converted into petroleum, diesel, kerosene and many other useful products. All right. And many of these products are exported to other countries and many factories have also been developed to produce consumer goods. So this is all for today and we'll continue with part 2 of this chapter in our next video in which we'll study about the life of the people of Saudi Arabia and some major cities. So till then take care, stay home, stay safe. Thank you.